All right. Um, as always, we we got to put the uh, Austin P game to bed yesterday. Had a good uh, hour helmet practice last night, getting the corrections from Saturday's game, and then and then preparing really for Texas State, a team that uh, we played two years ago, but we're significantly different. So are they. You know, being whatever four or five years into Division One and. And coach being there, Coach Francione being there, and uh, so they're much further along now than they were then, and so are we. So I have a lot of respect for him as a head football coach, and John Thompson as our defensive coordinator has been a number of places and always had success here, being one of his stops and had tremendous success here. So we're looking forward to the challenge. It'll be the first opportunity we get on the road. We've had the first two at home. So how we carry ourselves this week in preparing for a trip uh, will be a big part in terms of how we uh, how we play come Saturday. So it's a different routine for us, but one that a number of our players have already been used to. It's just a little bit different in terms of usually you don't get two, two home games to start the year off, but we're excited about the challenge of going down to, to San Marcos and, and playing Saturday night. Um, ever since the schedule came out, a lot of people have pointed to this game being the first true test of, of exactly how far you guys have come. Do you see it that way? Or? Oh, I don't know if I'd say it's the first true test. I thought the first game was the true test. I mean, the, the, how we would play at home with Mississippi State, how that would go, I think, I think was the first true test. I think this would be the first road test against a very good football team that went 7-5 and five last year and deserved to go to a bowl game and didn't. Um, and I'm sure that that's on their minds in terms of finishing off this year and ending any doubts so they get a bowl game. So, again, they're going to be excited playing at home. They just had a home game, back-to-back -back games. We're excited to go on the road and, and take another step forward to being the team we know we can be. What do you think is the main focus in practice this week? Getting better. It's every week getting better. Getting some guys back healthy. We've had some guys nicked up. So getting those guys back for this week. So we're at full strength. We're going to need to be at full strength. They've got a tremendous quarterback. A guy that can play anywhere in the country reminds me a lot of, of Luke McCown when I was at Louisiana Tech a few years ago, can run and throw it, really quick release. So the focus will be on how do we contain their quarterback and their skill guys. They've got nine guys, I think, back on offense, and then us getting better. The team you want to keep improving, the team you are to start the year shouldn't be the team you finish the year with. Coach, uh, do you anticipate having any guys back that maybe we haven't seen in the last couple of games? I anticipate having a number of guys back that uh, for a number of reasons weren't with us. I won't get into the specifics of it, um, but we'll, we anticipate having a number of guys back this week. We didn't have either this past week or the first week. This past week, Dylan Bradley did a really good job of getting in the backfield, you know, a few tackles for loss. I mean, just what have you seen from him kind of as his development as a player? Well, Dylan's been healthy. He's a little bit nicked up at times in, in the past. But, but Dylan's a good football player. He's a guy you can play on the edge. You can move inside in passing situations. He's a hard guy to block, and he likes to play the game. And our, I thought all of our guys up front did a good job. We had an advantage up front, and it showed. They had a hard time moving the football. Coach, it looked like um, Saturday, uh, I know tempo was a huge part of your offense and what you, you know, the success of what you feel like uh, your offense should be. But um, the first couple of possessions, seemed a little bit slower paced than say the third, fourth, fifth, and then on. Once you guys started picking up the tempo and started having success, I mean, how much value is? Uh, well, tempo? I think that the, the comment or the question is valid. It, tempo comes from being in a rhythm. It's hard to go fast when you're choppy, when you have dropped balls, when you have a, a procedural penalty, when you have missed assignments. When those things happen, it's hard to go fast. It's, it's it's a lot easier when you get the first first down and you're feeling good about the way things are going and you get into some different things you like to do, but when you're choppy and and you're frustrated, uh, that that leads to going slower. And, and also we, we've had to do it because of some guys being injured. We've had to do a to be a little bit more creative in terms of our you know groups. Uh, so so that when you're subbing and you're trying to be particular in terms of what groups are out there because of some injuries or some some issues you've had with players, and it, it slows you down. After, look, after looking at last this past Saturday's film, 
did the defense look as good on film as it did to us in the press box? They did, and, and we had we had a decided advantage. I mean, we were significantly better. You know, they had, they had four new starters up front, and a guy that got hurt, and we're experienced up there, and we've got some transfers there. So we expected it to be an advantage, and it was. I thought our guys covered well. I thought our guys up front played well. So yeah, I thought we did a great job. The only times we gave them something, or when they got something, we gave it to them. So I, I was excited to see our guys play as well as I thought they would. Coach, when you look at this uh, John Thompson defense that Texas State's going to roll out, um, you know, is there any particular way that you would tradition that an offense would traditionally attack that defense? Oh, I don't know if there's any one way. I mean, I, no matter who you play, you've got to play to your strengths. What do we do well? We can't just start making up things that we see on film. You know, boy, this team did this well. Well, we're not that team. We are who we are. And when you're good, you rely on what you do well. Now, there are certain things that you may emphasize more than others based on what you see. Obviously, they're very active. Um, he's not afraid to bring pressure. He's always been that way. So, um, but we're excited about the opportunity. They do a good job. Uh, the players fly around. Um, and, and it's the second year being in that system, which they, they should all feel a little bit more comfortable. Do you expect a high score game, possibly? I know just looking at their numbers, Texas State doesn't. Uh, Well, I mean, I don't, I don't anticipate anything. I just anticipate two good football teams playing. I know they've got a good quarterback. I know we're better on both sides of the ball. What, what that lends itself to, you know, our execution is what I'm concerned about on both sides of the ball, and then also on special teams. Um, if it ends up being that type of game, then that's what it ends up. But I don't, I don't go into it anticipating that what the score is going to be. I just try to figure out how we can best defend them uh, and best find a way to score points. Is their run game the best part of their offense? I think, I don't know if it's the best part about their offense because they can throw it in, they can run it, and it all starts with the quarterback and, and the head coach who runs their offense and does a great job with it. You know, they do a great job and always have done a great job pushing run past conflicts. And this is the best quarterback that, uh, that they've had. Um, and he's, he's as good as anybody in the country. He can play for anybody. You watch him play, he's a really good player, comes from a really good high school program. Has won a lot of games, expects to have success. We're going to have our hands full with him. we just got to do a great job minimizing the explosive plays like you try to do every week. Uh, do you feel like Nick Mullins is gaining more and more confidence as you guys go? I think so. He didn't play his best the other day. I think that was obvious. Uh, missed some throws. Uh, but he continues to, to try to take care of the football and lead our football team. And so um, he's only going to continue to get better. He's, he's never redshirted, had to play right away, a lot like their guy. He's going to continue to get better. So we're excited to see his progression. He knows he could have played better Saturday, and uh, we're expecting to get some guys back that will help him with that. You believe this is one of the more even matchups of the season? Oh, I don't know. I think our league is pretty well balanced. Our league is, is balanced to where you look week to week. A lot of our teams have been competitive with anybody they've played. So I anticipate – our league being very competitive, this this game just being one of them. They fit in our league, you know. They they've got good players. They've got 85 scholarships. They've got an outstanding quarterback. They've got all the all the pieces to be a very good football team. It's been a couple of years, but uh, Texas State coming here was how you was the first game of your tenure here. Um, how much do you I mean if, if at all sort of maybe not the X's and O's part of the game, but go back. Think about that first game. And well, first of all, their defensive coordinator is different. Now they're they're off. You know, coaches still run their offense, but I don't I don't think about it much other than it was a debacle, and uh, we played very well defensively, but we turned it over a bunch and we didn't start off the game very well. All we needed to do was just protect the football and, and we win the football game. That's that's the way it is. We at that point in the season we were really good on defense, and we got banged up as it went on, but. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing. I remember, we had a great crowd. It was the first game I coached here, and, and offensively, we uh, we gave it to them. Casey Martin uh, is obviously one of the more valuable components of your offense. Um, you know, I mean, is he is he kind of that stalwart, that corner, one of the cornerstones of the offense? That when he's out there, everything just feels better. 
Oh, I, I think he's a good football player. I'm glad that, that he came here a year ago. He really has a stability, I think, is the biggest thing. You know what he's going to do. You know where he's going to be. I think our quarterbacks have a lot of faith in him. But uh, but I think he's done a good job, and he's, he's really solidified our offense. I think that's probably the, the best thing to say is he's stabled us. Stabilize us, I guess, best way to put it. When you get two home games on the road, it's obviously nice, but then on the flip side, you turn around and get two games on the road. So what have you been doing preparing for this trip? Well, I mean, it's just the start of the week, so we haven't really had a chance to prepare too much. I mean, there's, there's really not much you can do other than you, know, you try to keep the routine as best you can during the week, prepare the guys uh, about the travel at the back end of the week, and understanding that it's still going to be about what we do, how we travel, how we prepare, uh, getting ourselves ready for Saturday night. What kind of things do you want to carry over from the win Saturday into this week? Well, like I said, even the week before, whether you win or lose, it's, okay, what do you take from the game, all right? Did our guys do a great job of allowing themselves to be coached? Did they take great notes? Did, did they really process what their coaches are telling them, which gives them a, a chance to move forward? You know, it's, it's all about working your rear ends off every day, failing, correcting those mistakes, and getting better and then going all in and making more mistakes and correcting those mistakes and then getting better. Getting better is all about failing. So the whole key is for our players to understand that, that okay, no matter what the score is, one way or another, we don't want to get too down, we don't want to get too up here of our performance, okay? Bottom line is, how did I play? What can I do to change the things that I didn't do as well as I'm capable of? So that's the biggest thing. I think we've got a team that understands that, is mature that way, and uh, hopefully what they got out of it Sunday was, okay, here's where I'm at, here's the mistakes I made, how do we get it corrected to play better football? Anything else I missed the first uh, five or seven minutes? That's, a, that's an open-ended question for me to think about something that... Well, I'll we'll have the transcript for you. Well, I'll have the transcript the for you, trying to figure out what I said before. So, anything else for Coach? All right, All right guys, thank you. Thank you.